So we're going to start doing a mock test now. Now last time we used a set nav, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the direction on this one though. Yeah. Okay. okay. So follow my direction on this one. So whenever you're ready, I would like you to drive off. Your mock test start now, please. Okay. If I give you no instruction, you follow the road ahead unless the road signs and markings tell you otherwise. Mm -hmm. Next roundabout, turn left, please. First exit. The next roundabout, turn right, please. Third exit. Next roundabout, turn left, first exit, please. Traffic light, turn right, please.
Okay, I need to move a bit more closer to the way for me. It's fine. Okay. This is going to be a tough one. That's very, um... Yeah, it's going to be very, very tough. So I'm just going to stay here. Oh, she's going for it. It's fine, yes, it's fine. Yeah, I think he's got that. Yes. Yeah, and you go forward slowly now for me. Just keep going slowly, yeah? That's it. slower but unfortunately what we did both of us it will be same situation anyway regardless where you coming so yeah so I would still be going very slow it's very very horrible down here football game I will be found here that's why what are you doing mister and the next roundabout I would like you to turn left please first exit Traffic lights, I would like you to turn right, please. I'm not surprised Blackburn's one of the hardest places to pass. Look, as long as you are driving with good observations, good forward planning, you can pass. Yeah, I had one learner, he passed today. I had lots of learners passed last week, week before as well. So you can pass as long as you are driving with good forward observations, anticipation planning skills, you can pass. It's up to you, to be honest with you. Examiners there to pass you, they're not there to fail you. Yeah. At the same time, they are doing their job like you do. If you do going to do something silly, a mistake, they will going to have to fail you, isn't it? Yeah. Blocking a roundabout, what's that? You don't want to be doing that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be doing it, but is it a minor or a serious? What, uh, it's, so if you block it, yeah. and like if that police want to go in, mm. there will be a serious fault. Right. So going in, you don't want to block it, and going out as well. So if I would you, I would stay put over here, to be honest with you. Where the black car is, if you've got a space over there, then you would go over there. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, it's by time. In real life, what people do is their problem. Yeah. So today is a football game on, on the left over there. Mm -hmm. 
They used to be, people used to park over there, but the council decided enough is enough. They, they marked double yellow lines over there. Mm -hmm. I just looked inside, there was two traffic wardens giving all the cars over there 60 pound, 65 pound fines. Playing today? Uh, I think uh, for some reason I've got a funny feeling it's like Ipswich or something. Right. It's somebody weird. Ipswich from London? Yeah, hey, I don't know who it is, it's somebody weird. Round about, I would like you to turn right, please. Third exit towards town centre, please. Traffic light, turn left please, going towards Preston <coughs> Mill Hill please. like you to take the second road to your right please not the first one the yeah. second one where that Hamilton Road is please this looks like fun. you can take the next road to your left please for me The end of this road, turn right, please.
the end of this road, turn left, please. of this road turn left please truly can't see everything in that one I would like to take the next road to your left, please. At the end of this road, I would like you to turn right, please. At the end of this road, turn right, please. Park your car anywhere to the left, please. Thank you, and then drive off again whenever it's safe to do so, please. traffic light I would like you to follow sorry next traffic light turn left the traffic light please
roundabout, turn left please, first exit. Next on about, turn left please, first exit.
stay here if wealth and there you go you know but it's a good learning lesson for you because he was showing his better to isn't it mm. so as a test point of view mm. i would not have gone wrong yeah? okay. because look even though he waved examiner have already reacted to it isn't it mm. That would be too late. If the examiner reacted, that means the game finished basically, isn't it? Yeah? Right. So if this is happening your real test, you see he will start going that way, let him go because technically we have to give it to him, isn't it? Yeah, but I thought because he had well I saw that car part there went to go but he was blocked in. But yeah, this guy so, went over the other lane. Correct, but still legally who do we have to give it to? Well that's how the examiner we're going straight ahead. Second exit please. Towards Bolton and Darwin. Fancy car there. Look at the tires. It doesn't look nice, is it? No. <laughs> I mean, when he's turning, how? It won't. It won't turn right. Well. <laughs> no. Sign M sixty five please after the bridge.
next roundabout, take the fourth exit to your right base to our services. So I want you to drive me towards this services car park and we're going to the forward bay parking over there yeah so you have got two big roundabouts coming up we're going ahead on both of them so the next roundabout for the road ahead second exit please straight ahead third exit and put any next left please I would like you to do the forward bay parking please anywhere you like forward bay parking Done? Mm, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Can you do it however you like it as long as you end in the bay? You only get one chance to rectify it. So this is my current. Okay, so let's complete this maneuver. I would like you to reverse your car and drive that way, please. That way, please. On your right.
at the end of this road I would like you to turn right please and next roundabout follow the road ahead please Next roundabout, take the third exit to your right space. sound about I would like you to take the third exit to your right please okay and this is your mock test finish over here Okay, oh. well, I mean, very good drive. Um, it wasn't easy again because of the uh, Mill Hill. Mm. I totally forgot there will be so many cars parked over there because of the uh, football game. Mm. Um, there is one serious fault you have, but I will go through all of your mistakes though, yeah, so you will understand. Mm -hmm. Now, you have got A means advice, M means minor and a means advice and an s means serious yeah advice is just that don't do it again it's something examiners mm. don't like to do it but if you're repeating it then it may become a minor fault though yeah so m65 roundabout when i ask you to turn left yes you signal way too early oh. sorry yeah maybe somewhere there or maybe when you're turning right of traffic i can't remember so you don't want to be signaling too early you mm -hmm. signal when the timing is correct so for example if you're turning left or if you're turning right, I would say you signal when you're about four to five cars length away from the junction. Okay. Yeah. But also sometime I have noticed you have got a habit of signaling on the last minute, like the roundabout you did last one. You come all the way to give a line and then you're signaling. So you don't want to be signaling on the last moment mm -hmm. and you don't want to be signaling way too early either. Yeah. So you signal when you feel that you have got about three to four cars length away from the junction, then you signal though. Yeah. Okay. Now, again, I'm glad you press the brake, otherwise I'm about to press it. That uh, near to bridge. Oh, yeah. And yeah. there was a van there. Mm -hmm. Look, you got to understand, it would have been a your fault, but you reacted to it. That van driver was indicating he want to turn left. Mm -hmm. You cannot think that because he's signaling, he's going to turn left straight away. The reason why he was not able to turn left, because there was an obstruction mm -hmm. inside the car park. Yeah, a lot of people that's what they get failed on but luckily you reacted and you stopped it was a harsh breaking mm -hmm. but you reacted to it but I wish you could have seen that that look he's not going he's signaling slow down earlier rather than yeah. leaving on the last minute so need a good four plans I'm only giving you advice for that because you reacted to it you're very good now I am giving you one minor fault so we're driving down on Bolton Road um, not Bolton Road. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So the road was all clear. A 30 miles per hour road. But you were continuously doing around 24, 25. There was nobody in front of you. So you should be doing around 28 or 29 though. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you mine for that one. Another advice for you. Uh, opposite Ewood Ground. We were front, we were behind the taxi driver, the blue color car. Mm -hmm. Remember when you says stop and go, stop and go? Mm -hmm. Fine, it's not our problem. What happened to tires and tire mag? Yeah, I knew it when I did it. I thought, oh, that's a bit close. Yeah, so always because why do you think we do that? Because if that car breaks down mm -hmm. or you need to go around it or something happens, that's why you always give tires and tire mag, though, yeah? Mm -hmm. Always remember that. I'm giving you another minor. It's on Bunsa Lane Cross Road Junction when you're turning left. Yeah. Why is that? Too fast. Too fast and? Too wide. Too wide. 
It's only happened once. I'm giving you the benefit of doubt. I'm, I'm being lenient with you. I'm giving you the... Um, but some examiners may not be lenient. Mm -hmm. Some examiners may just straight away give you... Because when you're turning like this, left, mm -hmm. remember, there is another lane. You can't just go that close to that lane, though. You're supposed to be follow your... Left the curb, curb yeah. Okay. Another advice for you, and you're very lucky you get away with it. Cherry tree bridges. You know that bridge? Very narrow bridge? Uh, yes. So as you turn the first bridge, mm -hmm. there is no traffic light over there. Mm -hmm. You have got no right to drive in the middle. What you should be doing, you're keeping your car to the left, mm -hmm. go slowly, lift up your body, once you're near to the bridge, look ahead. If nobody's coming, look at your mirror and then go around it. Okay. The reason why I'm telling you, very lucky to get away with it, there was no other cars coming quite fast. Mm -hmm. If they would have been coming, yeah, they can't go anywhere. Then you have to reverse and go more to the left. So always keep to the left and then make sure that before you try to go, look at that, near to the bridge and then move around and go up there, please. Okay? Yeah. So it's a good advice for you, Bir. Your only CS fault, you might know about that. That Volvo. Roundabout, yes. That guy. <sighs> but the problem is, would you blame that Volvo or would you blame yourself if, if you are doing your test? I know in real life, forget about the real life, what happened. <laughs> but what are the rules says? Well, the, uh, but we're both in the wrong because he should, well, I should let him go, but he was in the wrong lane. He was in the wrong, yes, and he was cutting, but... You ask yourself this question. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more question this way. So this is a giveaway line here. Yeah. For yourself before the roundabout, right? Mm -hmm. Now, did you saw that guy before the giveaway line or after the giveaway line? Now be honest to yourself. I saw the Volvo before the giveaway line, but then he Bef moved. Correct. So you saw him. And, okay, let me ask you another question now. So his body behavior, like the other cars on the right, they were more mm. close to the car because they want to go there. Yeah. His body behavior were more to the? Middle. Yeah. So that, what is that telling you? Oh, I had a thought he'd wait for the guy in front of him to go and then. Everybody's selfish nowadays, isn't oh. it? Yeah. But it's a good line. If you would have crossed the giveaway line, Mm. and then he comes then I would say carry on because you committed yourself yeah. all right I know you might feel a bit harsh but that's a real that's what examiners think yeah apart from that the other two things which is I don't understand why you did it so M65 roundabout I say to you we're going towards services mm. so the first roundabout I ask you we're going straight ahead second exit yeah we need to keep our car to the left lane, but why we need to signal right? We don't need to signal right. No, You're supposed don't. to go after the first exit, you check your mirrors and signal to the left. Yeah. You signal right. I don't know. I think it's just habit from the other round. No, that's a minor. And then again, the next roundabout, I asked you, we're going straight ahead. Which exit? Mm. Two. Uh, Third three. exit, because we're going. So first is the mm -hmm. Shell petrol station. Yeah. Second is where the, all the trailers go. Mm. And third, what you did again? signal to the right and then yeah so just be very careful though yeah so all in all you only have one serious fault and you have got one two three minors not bad better than the last one mm -hmm. but that just unfortunate to be honest with you but that's how that's why I always says always expect the unexpected on your mock test be honest with you mm -hmm. yeah and be honest with you when you said the black one with Darwin roads are harder, not for you. The way you drive, you are a very good driver. I mean, today you drove the Mill Hill. I, when I went over there, inside myself, I said, oh God, I should not have bring him over here. And you absolutely nailed it. You were going slowly, you were planning, everything was spot on. So if you can drive over there, you can drive anywhere. Mm. So I don't think so you're too far, to be honest with you. I think it was a fantastic drive. That unfortunate that a wall will come, otherwise oh, it would have been If that fine. had been my test, I'd have had to look up his range and find his house and be like, why are you, why are you going around that roundabout? <laughs> oh. No, we don't want road rage. <laughs> yeah. oh. Always remember, we don't want road rage. So it's better to let it go, but you learn from mm. it, isn't it? Yeah? Okay. Any problem, any questions? No. No. Okay. You did it okay, but it would be very, very difficult for you in the actual test, your maneuver. 
Mm. What was wrong with your maneuver? Do you know anything about it? What what did you do not do correctly on your maneuver? So I asked you to do which maneuver? Forward bear parking. Mm -hmm. I was one. I was too close on the right, and so, I went over the line in front. Yeah. So your positioning must have been where more to the. Uh, it was too early. So if you are doing this in your exam, so. For example, you're coming from there, so this is the road. So I want you to imagine this for one minute, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a road. This is a roundabout over there, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're coming in, and the examiner asks you to take the next road to the left. So you're going in there. Mm -hmm. As you turn left, you have got base on your right. Yep. And the examiner asks you to do forward bay parking. You don't really want to go there because you have got a massive curb over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you try to go in, you're not going to be able to go in. Whenever you're doing the forward bay parking, so if you're doing the forward right, you keep your car as much left as you can. Right, okay. So, so closer to the left. Whatever you're doing. So if you're doing forward right, mm -hmm. you keep your car far left why mm. is that so you can turn. so you can swing yeah, yeah so you can easily swing in there mm -hmm. so what you should have done in your um you should have kept more i know you managed to do rectify it i mean you only get a minor for that one but it would have been better keeping your car to the far left and then goes in so that way you have got a lot of room to go in yes if you are doing the reverse bay parking then you goes near to the edges and give yourself one meter and then reverse into mm -hmm. oh, okay. do you understand that yeah. okay